Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mandeep and in today's video, we are going to discuss about loss or cost functions. And we are going to discuss different, most frequently used loss functions uh, in what scenario we should use which one. So let's get started. Before jumping on to the loss or cost function, let me tell you this whole exercise is going to be on the whiteboard. And as you can see, I have taken a, some sample data set example and sample neural network. We are going to discuss everything in the context of these two things, these two uh, uh, these two images that are appearing on my uh, screen. So let's get started. So as you can see that I have a, a table where A is my first column. I take it as X1. The second column, second variable is my income column. And third variable is my Y by insurance is the name. And I take it as a Y variable. So Y is going to be my predicted value, which I want to predict. And uh, basically, uh, A's and income are my X1 and X2. As you can see, this is my uh, the sample neural network. Uh, this is my input layer, the first layer, this one, the this one and this one. And it takes as A's and income as the input value. This input layer is connected with the next layer, which is of two hidden neurons in a one hidden layer. So this is basically, this is one hidden layer of neurons. Uh, it contains only two hidden neurons. So um, it is connected uh, the same way age is connected with, with these two neurons and the income is also connected with this neuron and this neuron. And for simplicity purpose, I just take then the output layer, which is where uh, it is giving me as a Y hat. Y hat is my predicted value, which my model will predict. So as you can see that uh, just for simplicity purpose, let me uh, mark it as because our model never understand the text. So what I am going to do, I am going to and uh, consider no as a zero, yes as a one. So my model is going to give me output in form of zero or one. So this is the background about this one. And now let us discuss about the loss or cost function. Loss or cost function are used uh, uh, in during the uh, phase of the training. So what actually happens is, let's say if I take the uh, example in this context. So let's say if I pass 19, as uh, let's say this my this neural network is getting trained and I'm passing 19 and 35,000 as my input values. And these get processed during this uh, hidden layer and it give me some output y, y hat. And let's say it gave me output as a one, but in actual the value was zero. So the gap between the actual and the predicted value is our error. And that's what uh, we, there are different ways to calculate this error and different mathematical formulas. These mathematical formulas are called as loss or cost function. Now, uh, I have been using loss or cost function synonymously so far, but there is slight difference between loss and cost function as well. Cost function is always for only one row of, or one uh, row of training data. Uh, loss function is basically for all, for the, is for all of the rows. So basically it is the, uh, uh, averaged out of or every cost uh, cost function. So basically, there are different type of cost function. Uh, the idea behind each and every cost function is to uh, to find the uh, gap between the or the error we you can say or the gap you can say more in general terms the gap between the predicted and uh, actual value. So there are different mathematical formulas and they have been. Um, already implemented so we do not as a as a machine learning engineer we do not need to memorize those mathematical formulas but for the understanding you can um, take a look at them but we never uh, need to memorize them uh, because you, until unless you are going into the field of research where you need to do a lot of uh, mathematical calculation so now let's move on to different type of loss functions uh, so let us get started with different type of loss function the first loss function is M A E, as you can see on my screen, this is my first loss function. Uh, M A E, this is mean absolute error, and the uh, formula for this is y minus y hat. This is my y is my actual y hat is my predicted value. So y minus y hat, and I have taken the absolute of their difference, and I am taking it as a mean mean of 
all the values. So i is equal to 0 to n and dividing by it n. So I am taking it as an average. And this, this function is used in form of in the problems of regression. So whenever we have regression related problem, we can use this loss function. The same way mean squared error, the second function is mean squared error. This has the same formula except of doing the absolute, we are just taking the scale. Otherwise the formula is same. Uh, we are taking then average. This is also can be used in the form in the problem of regression related problem. I take an example regression related problems are could be uh, let's say uh, predicting the house price and if I talk about the con in this context this problem is uh, is can have output as zero or one so it is a uh, my uh, so person will either buy insurance or not buy insurance. So this is my classification problem. Basically, where we need to classify between two or many number of classes. So these two, these two functions are used in the regression related problems. Then next, if you move on the binary cross entropy function, this is the uh, this is the formula. This is a very long formula. Again, uh, we do not need to memorize it. I just um, have written for the reference purpose. So binary cross entropy, this, this loss function is used for the classification problem. So classification problem as in where we have two classes as an output where we can output we can have output or uh, from for two classes let's say either uh, even in this context even in this uh, current context we can use this so where my output can be uh, uh, of two classes so this is used for my classification problem the same way the next one is categorical cross entropy the again the formula is written here y is y i j log of y i j hat and then i am taking the summation of them uh, this is also used for classification the difference between uh, these two function is that this binary cross entropy is used where we have we can have maximum two uh, two classes as output and where we have we can have multiple classes um, as an output, uh, the, in that case, we can use categorical cross entropy. And then if you move, if I move next, there is one more uh, loss function, which is basically focal loss. This is used in the problems where we are, uh, just like, for example, we are detecting some object. So uh, this is used in the problems of computer vision related problem. This, this, this loss function is used in that case. And uh, the last function is triplet loss. This loss function is used in the NLP or word embedding re related problems. So here, just to keep this video short, I have just take, uh, I just just have marked them and I have told you like in what scenarios, which loss function I should use. Every loss function does the same job, but in a different way, since they have different formula. That's all for this video, guys. And stay tuned for more such interesting videos on machine learning, data science, deep learning. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for uh, till the next video. Bye bye. Take care.